Hello everyone, it's Wayne from TG0, and I'm here to walk you through our latest updates. Now we've got some game-changing features in both our firmware and driver updates, so stick around till the end of the video to find out. First up, let's talk about trackpad tuning. You can now set a dead zone on the borders of the trackpad to avoid any missed triggers in VRChat. The ranges are fully customizable and can easily be done in ET Connect, just like this video here. But wait, there's more! We've rolled out a driver update for Steam VR as well, so don't forget to hit that update button. We fine-tuned the VRChat binding for you guys, so it will give you an even better experience. Update now for a smoother ride. First things first in VRChat, ensure that you've got the official bindings activated. Watch out for this part, as sometimes it will default to an ET tracker. We want it set to ET controller. Confirm that and then select the official binding. We recommend the V3-5 version as it's the latest and will be the best fit for you. After that, you can dive into this edit menu to figure out the controls or customize as you like and go with the binding that you're more comfortable with. Play your own way, but don't forget to hit save after tweaking these bindings. Quick heads up is make sure you always switch to Steam VR in this control menu inside VRChat. Unfortunately, there's a bug on their end and we can work our magic from here. So keep it on Steam VR for a hassle-free experience. So let's talk about the changes to the binding function. Previously for action menu, a simple thumb off the trackpad will automatically select it. But we get it, frustrations were real. Now you will need to direct on the trackpad to your desired menu and then index curl to trigger the select function, minimizing those annoying missed triggers. We also have changed the general selection in quick menu to an index curl as well. It used to be trackpad pinch, but we found this to be a more natural control, so we have updated that for you as well. Adam is one of our value members of the community who has been a great help with these beta testings. Here is what he thinks about our new update. Uh, most of the things have been fixed uh, thanks to you know the active uh, development of it, such as the CPO, uh, McLin. I've had direct contact with the team. I've also had my own branch uh, for alpha testing. Uh, to do with the ET Oasis event um, because before I would have issues with mistriggering but with this new update as you guys know um, we fixed that issue because first you have to touch the center of the touchpad and then swipe your thumb in all different directions just to move and rotate your avatar and interact with people. Now addressing a common frustration, the wrist offset of your character. We heard you loud and clear, and in this update, we've aligned it better with your virtual hand. Make sure to activate the official bindings of V3-5 to get the new offset, and say goodbye to the overcompensation movements in the elbow. Thanks for sticking around everyone. We hope these updates enhance your VR chat experience with ET. Drop your thoughts in the comments of what features you would like to see in the future updates. Your input definitely matters. Bye guys, have a good one.